Hello world, I'm one of study and today we are doing what if Deku was Kratos part one Let's get into it. So Deku No, no, we're not doing that Hopping straight into it. It's kind of boring Gods and mythologies they're told to us as lessons to man's immortals that are uh, that are supposed to be here for a simple reason to live to breathe in harmony with each other to be our fellow man to help each other but they also tell of rage and anger of man what that can bring about even in the sim the most principle of every man's life there are those that can break those in power Deku, now. Born in a small village, a small suburban community outside of the city of Hosu. He lived a peaceful life under his mother and father. His father had left him by the age of 15. However, before that, he can tell you why he left. Why? changed so much of his life was predetermined he wanted freedom not much understood that feeling however he still loved his family not like he loved them any more than anybody else they were his rock his understanding in life came from them his understanding of what he represents what he is supposed to be what he is supposed to be, come, was all given to them by them. As such, a villain that skyrockets down from the sky and smashes onto his front yard, but on top of his house. Suddenly, another explosion could be heard. As the villain immediately gets his face punched in, his whole house is completely destroyed in the explosion. Scattered, his family he searches for. They were crushed in the rubble, finding one of their arms up, rising above the rubble. He pulls on it, trying to pull them out. However, he pulls to find nothing but blood and carnage. Scarred from this. No, not even survive this he has to understand one simple thing what it means to be a villain as that villain rises from the ashes he turns around and finds himself staring face to face with a real bona fide villain as the villain made, makes a rad dash to try to grab onto his throat he punches the stomach of the villain trying to set him back those boxing lessons might actually be <laughs> as then a metal a mace came straight to his face just shooting him straight down to the ground immediately bashing his head onto some of the rebar a, uh, a metal pipe that he hit his head against uh, dazes him, concusses him and brings him down to the ground he's barely able to keep control of his body his, his leg starts fidgeting he brings himself back up to his feet un unknowingly. As the villain starts to smile, he licks the, the blood off of his stomach that Deku was punching with. His hands were all scarred from the explosion. As the villain opened up its mouth, a metal tongue, a metal face, a metal lizard coming out of it. This metal lizard starts to crawl onto the ground, crawling up Deku's leg. As he tries to, as he kicks it away, He's immediately attacked by the villain. Over and over and over again, he's assaulted. Metal fists and, and a metal mace came, coming straight towards his face. The only thing that he could do was block and, and have his bones broken in. Over and over and over again, the strikes kept on coming. Where was the hero? He comments on as he tells his story. Where was he? After 
two minutes of defending his face. His, his arms all twisted and zigzagged. They were destroyed completely. Why do you keep striking at my face? It started out as well. <sighs> I wanted it to end sooner. However, once you started actually defending, I saw a chance to actually have a good fight. However, it's time to end this. As he holds up his hand saying, Goodbye, civilian. Hopefully you'll lead me to even better fights in the future. Goodbye! As then, uh, then... <laughs> Some, someone grabs onto its, onto its throat and brings him down to the ground. It was his father. Beating down on the, on the villain's face, bloodying it up. No more the, uh, the metal on his face, no, no more. His father brutalizes it. Uh, uh, d morphing his, uh, his own hands to the shape of the face of the um, villain that he's beating. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He was counting it out. Every single punch uh, denting into the bone structure of the villain. The villain almost laughing and cackling at this finally starts to drain away his life. But he sees still a little life in it. As the metal uh, lizard starts to crawl up his father's back. His father stands up and holds his hand down to the sun to Deku. As Deku tries to take it, the metal lizard comes out and bites onto the neck of the father. <laughs> he falls down to the ground, wheezing in pain as his, as his neck um, tenses up. Deku grabs onto the metal lizard, lizard and throws it under some rebar. Wraps the rebar around it forcefully, using all of his strength that was left. His arms broken and unable to even use his arms. He had to grind it into the dust. After that was done, he went over to his father as his d father's breath was gone. He died at the scene. Deku got up from this. Not mentally, but... He could see, he could see something it was wrong. He could feel it. Something crawling in his skin. Where was the hero? He sits there waiting for the ambulance. So then the hero, well, walks away, unscathed, unhurt. Where was he? As all the media start to come in, he's hustled into an ambulance as he asks them to stop before taking him off to the hospital. Let him hear what the hero has to say. As the hero says, Well, you see, it was only one. P he was out in one punch. Easy as that. And what about the collateral damage? What? You'd rather me let him go? I've seen enough. Take me away. As he's shipped off into the ambulance, off to his, off to the hospital, he spends a fortnight in there, laying in bed. He looks up to the ceiling, forever. Every single day, his eyes bleeding from just staring up to the ceiling. The hatred, the blind rage underneath, him, increasing in every single day. One more day, my body will regain power. One more day, and my body will be ready. One more day, until my rage can take form. One more day, until I can revenge my father. Till I can avenge everyone. Who was the hero nurse? Tell me. Who was it that destroyed my house? His name is All Might, sir. Do you wish to send him a postcard? No, no. I'd much rather it be a ro a, de a death. <laughs> Without warning. I want all and everyone to see his death on the news. I want it to be sudden. I want it to be quick. But then I want to... I want Make it last as long as it can at the last second so that he can understand the pain that he has caused. 
Thank you so much for watching this. This has been a short version of what I may be doing. As long as this one gets more than, let's say, a thousand views, um, then I'll do the second one. All right. I'll see you guys in the next video. If you like this one enough, I'll be sure to do it.